So, I was over on the old Steam Controller Reddit. You know, as someone who is addicted to the Steam Controller is wont to do. And I saw a topic about double tap on the right pad. You know, just someone asking, like, hey, does anyone else use this? It's a pretty cool thing. And a lot of the comment, well, not a lot, more than one, <laughs> which was enough for me, more than one was pointing out, like, Eh, yeah, whatever. I don't really use that because I always accidentally enable it when I don't want to, which which that, that pains me. It hurts. So I just wanted to go over the old double tap because it is an incredibly useful function. I end up, I pretty much use it in all of my profiles now, unless it's something where I'm going like joystick move on the right pad. And actually, I will say... I believe the Long Dark was really the one that convinced me of this. They put it in their official dev profile. And once I gave it a chance, it feels really good. So I have it like this. I double tap, and then I can enact. Like, it's my interact button. But for testing, let's... Uh, what I would say is put it on something that is much more annoyingly obvious, like... Alright, look behind. Keypad 3. That would pretty, be a pretty darn annoying thing. So instead of space, I'm gonna go keypad 3. Alright, so now I double tap, I look behind. And I'm only... I'm doing that for testing, so... Really, what you want to do is just, you know, figure out... People that are, pe you know, if you're saying that you do it when you don't want to be, it's this. It's because you're moving quick, moving quick, moving quick. See, I'm not... I'm flicking around. <laughs> flicking around super fast! I'm not accidentally enabling it. Because I made it... I usually, just kind of as a rule of thumb for me, is I usually take it to the D in duration, like right about there. Up at the default, it felt a little too easy to... accidentally... So really, you just want to go in there and fiddle around with that. The higher it is, well, it's, it's telling you right up here, lower values will require a very fast double tap. So I'm, I'm saying you probably want a pretty quick double tap. And just for curiosity's sake, let's see if this would even be better. Well, yeah, there. <laughs> Make it a long press. I double tap, hold, then it goes. So if you feel like you accidentally do it, it's going to be a combination of the slider for how long it takes, or, you know, I would probably... That's a pretty long... One, two, yeah, that's like almost a full second, two second. I never figured out the timing of these. Because they just give us these stupid sliders instead of numbers. But yeah, I would probably take that down some. Yeah, I have to make it very deliberate. Double tap, hold on there. If I'm just flicking around. I am not accidentally pushing it. But for me, I think I will keep it as... Just a regular press. That felt fine for me. I would recommend putting haptics up to high. And even what I've done on some other... This is almost a whole separate, a whole separate topic. I've kind of been getting into using haptics as... Uh, player feedback more like just because this hits as soon as you double tap I've even put like a regular press whoops regular press empty 
Hi. Give it a delay. It just gives me an extra kathunk on my thumb. And I, But uh, if I did that, though, I would probably take the haptics off of the initial and only keep it on this with... Yeah, that's probably that was probably too much. It's just to give it a slight delay so then you feel, you know, kathunk on your thumb. And I'll, I'm probably going to, uh, yeah, put this back to my use. I tend... I tend to in, like it for an interact. Drop my gun on the ground. Pick it up. It is a very useful feature. And some people seem like they don't even know it's there. Like, I've had questions like... How do I use that double click? I'm clicking... And it's only doing it sometimes. It's like, no, 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 no. It's not a click. It's not a press. It's a tap. It's like a touchpad. And you can put that on the mouse. You can put that on mouse joystick. Right there. I think those are the only two inputs. Camera, I don't think has it. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Move, I know, doesn't. But yeah, once I nailed in my personal preference for the timing of it, I I could say I've I've never had false positives. I once I got it where I needed it, it's only when I really want to use it. I never accidentally do something. So yeah, that's it. Double tap binding. Don't forget about it. It's one more great little thing in the repertoire of cool features. Uh, yeah, and that's all I got. Double tap. Exit on out. Oh, that was, that was terrible. Don't try to tell jokes. <laughs> <laughs>